Hey guys, it's Hazeltail, and today I have another makeup tutorial for you guys. I was playing around with some new makeup today, mostly this LA Colors palette. It... does it have a name? It says I Heart Makeup on the front, but that's not the name that was on the box. This is what it looks like. I mostly played around with these colors right here, but if you want I can do more tutorials and a review of this palette. Cause I'm pretty sure this was a holiday release. I'm also trying out some new lashes and I haven't worn lashes in quite a while so it feels kind of funny. They're the Kiss um, faux mink lashes in Boudoir. Anyway, if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching. I started by applying Milani eyeshadow primer all over my eyelids up to the brow. Then I went in with the LA Colors I Heart Makeup I Have a Crush Nude Palette. The first color I went in with was the lighter Define shade. This palette has two matte colors called Define, and then one matte and one shimmery color called Base. But I took the lighter Define shade on a really fluffy brush and worked that into my crease. I just went back and forth a lot, going back for more product and building it up and taking it higher towards my brow bone. Then I took the matte base shade on a large, somewhat fluffy, flat brush and I applied it gently under my eyebrows. Then I went in with a black eyeliner. For this look, I used the Too Faced Perfect Eyes Eyeliner in Perfect Black, which I am running out of, as you can see. I just messily drew that all over the lid of my eye. Then I went in with a flat synthetic brush and started blending out the eyeliner. I blended it up towards the crease and just barely took it into the crease of my eye. Then I went back to the LA Colors I Heart Makeup Palette. I picked up the darker defined shade, which looks like a very dark brown, on a flat brush and started packing that all over the black eyeliner. And I took it ever so slightly into the crease. And to blend it out, I went back in with the lighter defined shade on the same brush I used before and just kept blending over the crease area, just back and forth. And then I added a tiny bit more of the matte base shade. For my lower lash line, I used the lighter defined shade on a pencil brush. And then just to make it a little bit darker, I took the other defined shade on a smaller pencil brush and took that on the outer third of my lower lash line. And then I lined my lower and upper water lines with the same Too Faced eyeliner I used before. And then for the winged liner, I used the L'Oreal Lacquer Liner in Blackest Black. 
I use this on a very skinny angled brush. This one is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. For the wing on the outer corner, I draw a line up from my lower lash line to where I want the wing to end. And then I take the brush and sweep it towards the line I have on my lash line and just fill in that shape. And before I moved on to the inner wing, I just finished lining my upper lash line like I normally would. With only a little bit of eyeliner on the brush, I gently pulled the line down from my inner corner, kind of towards my nose, but more down. And then I drew another curved line from the bottom of that line to match up with the underside of my tear duct. I used a pointed Q-tip to clean up the edges of the inner corner. Then I applied some mascara. This is the CoverGirl Bombshell Curvaceous Mascara. It's a good mascara, not my favorite, and we're mostly just making the lashes black because we're gonna use false lashes. The lashes I used were the Kiss Lash Couture Faux Mink Lashes in Boudoir, and these are actually the first mink or faux mink, anything like that kind of lashes that I've ever used. And I glued it on with the usual glue I use, which is the Kiss Clear Strip Lash Adhesive. I have an old video on how I apply false lashes that I'll link in the upper corner and in the description box, but I can make an updated video about it if you guys are interested in that. Then I was just concerned the glue was showing a little bit. I don't think it was, at least on camera, but I went over my lash line with the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen. For my lips, I used two different Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipsticks. I mixed together a brown nude shade and a peachy shade to make a peachy nude shade. First I put the brown nude all over my lips. That one is called Nudie Patootie. And then I took the peach, which is called Nudist Peach, on a lip brush and mixed it in with the other shade before it dried. During the 13 days of Halloween, I uploaded a review of the Fantasy Makers liquid cat suits, and I'm pretty sure these are the same formula, so I'll link to that in my description box and up in the corner. But that's it! I really hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit subscribe so you can see more, and like so I know that you liked it. If there are any videos you want to see, just leave them in the comments. I'd love to do your guys' requests. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, at HazeltailXO, and I'm on Tumblr, at hazeltail.tumblr.com and then my beauty tumblr is hazeltailofficial.tumblr.com I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!